Midday Kentucky cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Over here with Chef Alison Davis. Dates and avocado with, looks like I've got peanut butter. It looks like a spread. <laughs> it might be a uh, it smoothie, is... but it's not. Oh, it's a smoothie. It's not. Oh, oh. We're actually making kind of a mousse, a chocolate mousse. Now those might have the pit. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. We're using dates. Um, oh. We're using almond butter. We're using maple syrup, mm. avocados, and this is going to be a healthier, uh, vegan-friendly um, chocolate mousse. Oh. Um, and avocado is a great way to kind of sneak in. And With also, avocado? Yes, you'll be so totally surprised. I've done this before. But the dates add the sweetness, and the avocados actually add the creaminess and the texture right, of the mousse. Sister. So we're going to see what he thinks. Uh, but. If you buy your dates and you buy the medicinal dates, you do have to mm. cut them through the center because you want to take the pit out of them. So that's what we have done. What happens if you leave the pit in? Uh, the pit's not going to puree, okay? I was waiting to see if you'd answer that. <laughs> well, <laughs> with him, I never know if you were serious or if you really knew, if you were curious. Now, All right. what's the... America's gone crazy with avocados right yeah, now. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to cut the avocado. Um, you can put it down on your board. If you do cut in, see, I always put it down on my board too. That's what I think people are doing. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Is they're putting it in their hand. But you want to go around the pit and then you turn it open. Um, if you have the pit, you can go in gently and then just pull it right out. When you take it off, press it. Do not try to pull it off. You know, it you, off. Say what, you know what I do? I open the bin and I go. Yeah, but that could dull your knife too if you're. No, but I, no, oh, I do it on, it on the hand. bottom. I'm a professional. It's not really super sanitary though. Oh, I don't reuse the, the knife, boo, because okay. you know I don't really cook. True enough, true enough. All right, so we're going in with our I avocados. I throw the knife out too and just now, buy a new one. Now, when you buy one. an avocado, also try to buy it where it's a little bit soft. It, this is a perfect avocado, is it not? Yeah. Nice and soft. All right, so we're just scoring it in the shell, and he's scooping Why it out. Why are we scoring it if we're going to blend it? Well, I think it's a little easier for you to get it out after I cut it. Oh. All right, we're going to go in with the dates next. Now, if you notice, I take the dates because they're a little bit dried and soak them in some warm water. It's going to make them softer so that That's they're going to blend. Tip. They're going to blend a little bit better in our mousse. Okay. So just taking. I don't them know out of about this. All right. I'm I getting know. a little bit worried. Camera crew are just shaking their head, we'll going, see. "What if are you, you don't making?" Need it, I will. All right, so all of our dates, that's going to bring a nice sweetness to it. All right, we're going to go in with a little bit of our um, almond butter. Can we just tell everyone how long you soak them for? Um, maybe 10 minutes really is all that's needed, 5 to 10 minutes. What's that? Almond butter, creamy almond butter. Oh. Yes. Have I tried that before? Um, I'm not sure if you have. Oh. All right, a little maple hint, syrup. Hint. Oh, well, <laughs> you can wait. A little maple syrup. All right, and then we're going to go in with a touch of our coconut oil. Remember, I said this was chocolate, right? A chocolate mousse. And very sweet. Yes, a little bit sweet. I'm going to make sure on our measurement. All right, we're going to go in with a cup, roughly. But mm. I picked this up. Oh, my gosh. So it's unsweetened cocoa oh. powder. It's 100% cacao, but Hershey's has a special dark <laughs> cacao. <laughs> yeah. The fox goes... <laughs> In that, in that song, kaka kaka kaka. In that the song, how does? Oh, anyways, I don't there's know. kids around here. If anybody oh knows, Lord. we've got our summer camps going. It's I okay. Bet one of, I bet one of them know. They probably do. All right, but it's a special dark chocolate cocoa powder. All right, nice chocolatey, rich. Mm hmm. Mm. All right, and then just to kind of thin this out, we're going with unsweetened almond milk. About a cup. Measuring from there. All right. Here we go. That's it. I tell you, if this, this seems works, like a hot mess. If this works, <laughs> he's going to be sold. This looks like a... I can tell already. I think you might have put, thrown a pit in there. <laughs> Let's see if it purees it. <laughs> For a minute. All right, All right, if you want to find out, don't just don't show it just yet. If you want to find out about this recipe, head over to wtvq.com forward slash midday Kentucky. Click on the recipe tabs, everyone. Chef Alison Davis on Instagram. We're going to unveil this right now.